So when we compare ourselves to chimps, we sit up righteously and say, we have poetry and the Hubble telescope and philosophy, and the chimp just stacks boxes to reach a banana. Yet there's only 1% difference in our DNA. But then you'll say, what a difference that 1% makes. And I would say maybe that 1% DNA difference corresponds with an equally small difference in the intelligence between a chimp and humans. And you say, I can't believe that. No, no, no. Well, imagine some other species that visits us that's 1% along on that same scale, smarter than us. The smartest chimp does what our toddlers can do. And there's no way you will explain to a chimp, I'll well, have dinner ready at 6.30, can you pick up some, some juice on the way home? That the simplest human thoughts are inconceivable to a chimp. And their talents are about what our toddlers can do. So let's get back to this 1% smarter alien that we've discovered. What would we look like to them? They would roll Stephen Hawking forward after combing the human species, and they'd say, this one is slightly smarter than the rest because he can do astrophysics calculations in his head like little Timmy over here.